Hi guys! For today's vlog, ituturo ko sa inyo ang step-by-step -step tutorial ng pagsagot ng form na pinadala ni YouTube para sa mga YouTube creators or YouTube vloggers. Hi guys! I'm sure most of you na receive na ang email na to from Google or from YouTube. It says, we're reaching out because Google will be required to deduct U.S. taxes from payments to creators outside of the U.S. later this year as early as June 2021. Over the next few weeks, we'll be asking you to submit your tax info in AdSense to determine the correct amount of taxes to deduct if any apply. If your tax info isn't provided by May 31 of this year, Google may be required to deduct up to 24% of your total earnings worldwide. So napakalaki niyan guys, if hindi kayo mag abide sa rules ni Google. Why is this happening? It's because Google has a responsibility under Chapter 3 of the U.S. Internal Revenue Code to collect tax info from all monetizing creators outside of the U.S. and deduct taxes in certain instances when they earn uh, income from viewers in the USA. So, kapag ang mga viewers mo ay nanggagaling sa U.S., kinakailangan kang itax ni... Um, Google or ni YouTube. Kaya, kailangan mong mag-fill out ng form before May 31 of this year, 2021. So, napakahalaga nito, guys. And, tuturo ko sa inyo kung paano ba kung paano ba itong uh, pag-fill out ng form na to. So, ayan. Sinasabi dyan na kailangan mong pumunta sa yung Google AdSense. Okay, and then, kailangan mo pumunta sa payments. And then, makikita mo dyan agad yung uh, manage tax info. I-click mo lang yan. Scroll down, and then, add tax info. Tapos, kailangan mo syempre uh, mag-log in. Ididirect ka niya to log in sa page mo. Tapos, iyan na. Mag-fill out ka na ng form. What type of account is yung account mo? Is it individual or non-individual entity? So, pipiliin natin si individual. And then, just click next. Are you a citizen or a resident of the United States? Siyempre, pipiliin natin yung no. And then next. And then select W, a tax form type. Ang pipiliin natin yung, yung pinakauna, si W, a B, N. This form is most commonly used by non-U.S. individuals and would also be used to claim tax treaty benefits. So, yun ang piliin natin. Then, click start. And then, mag-fill out na tayo ng form. And then, lalagay mo dyan yung name mo. And then, yung citizenship mo. Siyempre, hanapin natin yung Philippines. Ayan, Philippines. And then, ilalagay natin ang, of course, ang tax identification number natin. Yung TIN number natin. Napaka-importante niyan. Diyan, lalagay natin sa foreign TIN. And then, click next at i-direct ka niya sa address. So, ayan. Pwede mo i-click yung permanent address mo if nagmamatch naman, if pareho lang yung mailing address sa permanent address mo. Um, i-tick mo na lang yung box. Ako kasi parang yung ginawa ko dito, um, since lumipat kami ng bahay, binago ko yung address. So, if same lang naman, pwede nyo na ngayon i-tick yung box. And then, just click next. And then, are you claiming a reduced rate of withholding under a tax treaty? And then, of course, ang isasagot mo dyan ay yes. And then, resident of country claiming is Philippines. And then, special rates and conditions. 
Uh, click mo lang yung services for AdSense yung pinakauna, Article 8 and Paragraph 1, and then 0% reduce rate, tick the box. Sa second, yung motion picture, piliin natin yung Article 13, 15% reduce rate, para sa withholding rate. And then, just tick the box then. And yung panghuli yung other copyright, just Article 13, and then 15% then yung withholding tax rate. And then just tick the box na lang then, and then click the next. Tapos i-direct kayo sa susunod na page, which is yung document review kung saan makikita nyo yung form na na-fill out nyo. Pwede nyo yan i-download if gusto nyo. And then you can just tick the box, review lang ng onte and then just click next. Then, madadirect na kayo sa certification form na kailangan nyo um, ilagay yung full name nyo as a signature. So, yan. Basahin nyo lang yan. And then, your signature is your full legal name. And then, are you the person listed in the signature section? Of course, yes, I am the person listed in the signature section and I'm completing this form on my own behalf. Just click next. Pag nag-click nyo na yun. And then, scroll up kayo. And has the individual or entity identified in the tax identity section perform any activities and services for Google within the U.S.? Of course, no. Ang isasagot natin dyan. And then, just tick the box. Yung I certify that the services provided to Google or its affiliates will be performed solely outside the U.S. That in, and that any labor or capital. So, no yung sagot. And then, are you providing tax info? Yes, I am providing tax info for a new or existing payments profile that hasn't received. So, since hindi ko pa na-receive yung payment ko, yung una yung pipiliin ko. Pero kung yung na-receive na kayo, pwede nyo napiliin yung pangalawa and then just click submit lang. So, makikita nyo na dyan yung uh, result kung approve kayo and kung ano yung kinlame ninyong uh, tax rate. So, yun yung lumabas sa akin, 15% para sa motion picture na dati ay 30%. And then, yung copyright, 15% then And then, 0% naman doon ako sa Google Ads and Services. So, mabilis lang siya. Approve din siya agad and then receive ko din agad yung email. So, sana magawa din ito before May 31 of this year para maiwasan natin yung abirya. And hopefully guys, nakatulong ito sa inyo sa mga hindi pa nakakapag-fill out ng form. And thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell button below. Thank you guys and have a good day everybody. Bye-bye now!